Welcome to Tapas with Miriam on Fusing Way My Channel. Uh, today we are here with an amazing girl. Uh, she's just 19 and her name is Mary Powell. Welcome to the studio. Hi, welcome. It's so nice to meet you, Miriam. Yeah. I'm so nice happy to, to be here today. Yeah, <laughs> nice to have you here. Um, <clears throat> and when I read your bio, you are CEO of Marshami Eyelashes. Mm -hmm. um, and, I'm, you know, we're going to have a good conversation today because, uh, you know, it's it's very encouraging to see a young person, you know, coming up and, you know, doing business and, you know, going to school as well, because that's what your uh, bio says. Mm -hmm. uh, but you said that um, you started this uh, business at when you, you were successfully done with uh, YEMP, which is... Um, Youth Entrepreneurship uh, Mentorship Program at the CIA uh, yes. organization. Can you tell us more about that? So I started Mayor Charm um, shortly after, shortly before the program started. I started in June of 2023. Mm -hmm. The program started in July of 2023, so it was about a month or two before I entered the program. Um, and I went through the program for about six weeks. So it's about entrepreneurship. They teach you about business. They teach you about um, marketing and all of the nice things about business. Um, mm -hmm. And there were some things I learned there that I didn't know before, yes. which is nice because like the program taught me a lot. Um, yeah. And so um, I graduated from the program and I also um, entered a pitch competition there. Yeah. And I won first place at the competition, yeah. which was so amazing. Yeah, and it's just it was so awesome. That was yeah. a really good experience. <laughs> that was a very good experience, and I attended that. So, what what was your take from there? Like, how what really pushed you to now? Just like you know, I'm gonna go for for this uh, business. And how what was the process like to just choose what type of business you were going to do? Um, initially, I I've always thought about like doing my own thing, running my own business. I wasn't sure what business I wanted to get into. I've always had mm -hmm. lots of different creative ideas. Mm -hmm. I've thought about clothing. I've thought about um, selling products. Yeah. And I've thought about selling services, but I yeah. was like, which one am I most passionate about? Yeah. Um, and I've always been passionate about beauty. I've been doing beauty for many years for many different people, Yes. which is so <laughs> nice. And, you know, a lot of people tell me, oh, my gosh, like, you are so good at, like, what you do. You've done an amazing job. Like, you need to do this for other people. And so I just decided maybe eyelashes is the best one for right now and um it's good for brand identity just for the beginning because eyelashes are so wonderful they're so nice <laughs> so yeah that's that's my thing like why eyelashes you know um i've been wearing eyelash extensions since i was 13 years old um mm -hmm. and when i put on, put on my first pair at 13 years old like I, I think I, I never stopped wearing them afterwards like my eyes have never gotten a break um <laughs> honestly honestly like um makeup has been in my youth, my entire um, growing up, it was my yeah. it was my thing to do, um, and I just feel like it works for everyone. Mm -hmm. um, you, I feel like there's certain parts of beauty, like hair, yeah. wigs, um, yeah. even like makeup. Not everybody does that, but a lot of people do eyelashes for like special occasions, everyday wear. But it's it's a very versatile thing. It's very um, broad. Uh, I wouldn't say that's not the right word, but a lot of people can do it. It's for yes, a lot of different yeah, people. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. That's good. Now, your uh, eyelash business is called uh, Mar Charme mm -hmm. Eyelashes. Mm -hmm. uh, what was the inspiration behind the name? So um, I was brainstorming one day because I knew I wanted to do eyelashes. I had my certification that I got in November of 2022. Mm. Um, and I decided, well, you know, there's so many different names of eyelashes out there. A lot of people do eyelash extensions what would stand out the best um, in the market? Um, a lot of people use their names. I, you know, I could have used Mary, but I just felt like Mare, just one syllable, worked really well. It was really, um, really simple. It's also a nickname that my best friend gave me. No. Oh. Um, yeah. <laughs> so she calls me Mare Bear, actually, but I just go by Mare sometimes. Yeah. Um, so I took that first part, Mare, and then I was like, what would work after that? Like, yeah. secondly, just for brand identity, yeah. um, what would work best? And yeah. I decided... Yeah. Um, upon the um, charm mm -hmm. because uh, it means glamour in French um, and I was going to do glamour in English but it didn't flow the same yeah 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 yeah, yeah it didn't flow yeah. the same so I just put it all together yeah there it is yeah that's good uh, you just talked about uh, certification yes um, is that certification for eyelashes or business 
Um, just the, the, the eyelashes. Just the eyelashes right now, yes. Um, so you don't need to be uh, licensed to do mm. eyelashes in Alberta, at least. Okay. I don't All know right. if it's different in the other um, provinces. Yeah. Um, but for Alberta, you just have to have the certification. You don't yeah. need licensing. Um, yeah. I will work on that, of course. Um, <laughs> but just the licensing um, that it's not really like um, mandatory. Yeah. Um, and yeah, I have. I've been certified twice actually. I got my second certification in May of 2023. What's the process like? So um, you actually just go to another lash trainer. There are master lash trainers um, okay. throughout the city and many other cities. Um, who will teach you how to do the service. Um, they can do a five-day course, a three-day course. Some yeah. of them even have online courses. Um, it's very easy to access the education um, to learn the skill. And so um, I've done one five-day course and I've done one three-day course and I still continue to learn because like, I have to keep doing the research and mm -hmm. there's still lots of learning involved in the process. Okay, that's good. Now, I attended the YAMP program and... Um, uh, I mean, not me attending, but I attended the, the grand finale. Mm -hmm. um, and I met you there. I also attended the Hair Economy recently. And there are a lot of uh, uh, girls mm -hmm. uh, doing, you know, eyelashes. There's kind of like influx of uh, <laughs> people mm -hmm. uh, doing eyelashes and stuff. Why do you think your business will stand out? Um, my business, um, our mission statement is to um, increase... Uh, mm -hmm our versatility within our diverse community. So living in Edmonton, there are a lot of different people with a lot of different needs and everyone has different eyelashes, eyelash shapes, eyelash sizes. Mm -hmm. um, everything is different within everyone. And I have clients coming in every day that are different. Everybody's different. Um, so being able to like adapt to eye shape, um, the different t kinds of eyelashes I've come, I've had people come in with really straight eyelashes, mm -hmm. really curly eyelashes and all of the in-betweens. Um, so being able to accustom to that and, um, like creating a perfect set for somebody. So, um, taking their measurements and, um, using that to, um, create something that would work for their face shape or their eye shape. Mm -hmm. Um, so we do consultations. Mm -hmm. We do, um, I even provide extra, you know, gift services. I do um, free drinks. I have a drink menu. Um, I have um, my studio, of course, that I'm setting up at the moment. Mm -hmm. And um, a bunch of other different things that um, just make my service unique. Um, yeah. I'm trying to add a little bit more um, sparkle <laughs> in, in the process. But, you know, you have to learn, you have to learn what your clients like and what your clients don't like, yeah. um, which is something that's still ongoing. <laughs> so, like, you have royalty programs and mm -hmm. stuff like Yes, for, of course I do, your, yes. Oh, okay, that's really good. Do mm -hmm. you have any challenges that you can share with us? I think this... Mm -hmm. um, business running a business is really you have to be very resilient you have to have the resilience that most other people would you know give up yeah. if, if they come across um, like a hardship or yes. um like some sort of adversity just you they just give up yeah. but if you really want your business to succeed yeah. you have to listen to the failures or like take the failures and um just stay resilient as you have a to learning get, curve mm -hmm, yeah mm -hmm. So you just have to get through the hard, all of the hard moments. I've had many, many hard moments in the past few months that um, are really shaking me, especially with when life happens. Yes. When life happens and you're like, okay, well, I still have to run my business. That's something that's also been hard, but you just have to learn how to, what works for you. And you also have to take care of yourself. So. Yeah. And again, you know, when you talk about challenges, um, you are a student. Mm -hmm. So that's number one challenge because mm -hmm. you kind of like have to juggle the two. Mm -hmm. How do you even manage to do that? Um, you know, you have to prioritize and manage your time the best that you can. Mm -hmm. um, I really try to like organize myself to the best of my ability. It's still hard. I will admit it. It's still really hard to do. Um, and you also have to prioritize if somebody books with you you have to give them your best service yeah. even if you're you know stressing about an exam yeah. or there's something on your mind about um you know uh school needs to be done at this time but i have a client at this time um and it's all you have to crunch you have to time yeah. crunch um you just have to just kind of release and just say you know you just have to prioritize and look at your options and say what is the best option for you right now 
Um, it's so hard to prioritize um, life and school balance and yeah. business, all of it at once. It's it's very hard balance. It's, <laughs> it's hard because you are um, you have like like you know from just talking to you. Your number one thing for your uh, clients is uh, client satisfaction, mm -hmm. and you want to make sure that you know they're they are satisfied with mm -hmm. your services, mm -hmm. and at the same time you have to keep your grades up mm -hmm. at school. Mm -hmm. What are you studying again? Um, right now I'm just doing um, high school upgrading, but I plan to do um, my bachelor of commerce. At McEwen University. Oh, that's very good. You're just 19. Yeah, I know. I just, <laughs> I'm still, I've still got a long <laughs> oh, way to go. Yeah. You have a long I, You know, I'm, I'm very impressed with what you're doing at the age of 19. Mm -hmm. um, are you aware, um, it, not that question, maybe I'll ask you about the, you know, as a young person, um, how important is it for a young woman like you to start a business and to, to just own their own? You know what? Like, um, I have been working for different companies and different people for about four or five years. Mm -hmm. um, I've done like customer service, I've done food service, I've done retail, I've done like you name it, I've done everything. Um, and I've realized that, um, especially when I'm working, I realize like, you know, I love helping people and I love connecting with new people. Um, is something that I aspire to do in the future as well. But I'm like, mm -hmm. what would work best for me and how would I apply that to my life. Um, how could I help other people in different aspects of my life um, that aren't at work or school? Mm. Um, and what could I do for myself that could help others? Yes. So that's um, that's something that I explored, and I explored my different options. That there's many different like you know paths yeah, that you yeah. can take. Um, and so I decided this was the best option because, you know, I get to help people. I get to help make people pretty. And that's that's something that I, I've been loving to do for years. So, yeah. Wow. Mm. <laughs> you are pretty yourself. You're very oh. pretty. Um, <laughs> are you aware of the Canadian regulations on eye extensions? I know you talked about Alberta doesn't have any um, demand for you know, all guide, not guidance, demands for people to have a license. Um, are there any of that that you are aware of, any guidelines for extensions? Because that's like you're touching somebody's body. It's mm, like, of course. It's like dentist, right? Yeah, they, exactly. they, a little bit. A so, little. <laughs> <laughs> so I just wanted to know because I, I, you know, I just started, you know, knowing so much about eyelashes and stuff because I don't put them on because of my problem with my eyes mm -hmm. um, if I put them on two minutes I have to take them off yeah, for sure. to my eyes but uh, it's a beauty you know mm -hmm. that you add to yourself and it's really nice and a lot of people are doing it mm -hmm. these days and I'm finding you know a lot of people that are doing it and mm -hmm. looking beautiful mm -hmm. so um, are you aware of those uh, that you can make sure that you follow the regulations um, it's very important to practice sanitation, yeah. um, disinfection. Mm -hmm. um, you have to dispose of one-time use products, so like spoolies, um, anything that you're using to cleanse, so like uh, little facial towels or anything. Like It's very important to stay sanitary, and mm -hmm. that's something I make sure of um, when I'm servicing my clients, because I don't want my client to leave with um, conjugavitis or, yeah. you know, um, I don't know what it's called, but um, I don't want my clients to yeah. leave with uh, bacterial infections or anything like that. Yeah, that would be horrible, yeah. that worst case scenario. Yeah. So um, I believe that's the procedures that you have to take um, to run your business uh, because you're very close to people's eyes Yeah. Um, with sharp tweezers too, um, which can also... You have to make sure you sanitize. Mm -hmm, you have to make sure you sanitize them and um, just make sure, making sure that you're clean at all times. That's something that's really important. Oh, very, mm -hmm. very nice. Um, there are any associations you know? I know you talked about uh, Master Eyelash. Um, yeah, the, the lash trainers, yes. Yeah, mm -hmm. but are there any associations that you have to belong to so that you are supported by that? You know what? No. Um, I would say that if you um, take a training course from... Mm -hmm. um, a company or a brand and they give you your certification they will help you and they will give you um, support throughout your um, journey and that's that's what I've gotten in the past um, but in terms of actually running the business um, taking the time to buy supplies inventory um, and like knowing how to keep that balance I mean you have to like find other supports like um, 
business supports, um, and it's why I joined the entrepreneurship program yeah. because I knew like if I was going to run a business, I'm definitely going to need some help because yeah. there's still a lot of stuff I don't know. Yeah. Um, and yeah, you just kind of have to seek out the supports yourself. Um, yeah. In order to like, I feel like it kind of goes the same with anything like a makeup artist, even hair. Um, yeah. If you're doing it, yeah, if you're doing it full time, like you're yeah. just, I feel like it's a form of entrepreneurship, and yeah. you have to just find those communities yeah. to involve yourself in. Yeah. Now um, let's talk about yourself. I know we've talked so much about the business. <laughs> um, your parents, um, did you, did they have like you know some doubts about you starting the business or? So, Maybe challenges of you not. <laughs> Did you have that? You know what? Um, <laughs> I feel like my mom's always just kind of been supportive of whatever I do. And yeah. She just says, you know, go for it. If it works for you yeah. and you're successful, yeah. then you can absolutely do it. Um, I think especially in this business, it takes time to be successful. Yeah. Um, you can still find a lot of um, success in, in small... Um, it's it's not um, as rapid as people say it is. Success yeah. comes over time. The but... Over time, step by step. Mm -hmm, exactly. Yeah. yeah, yeah. How about your friends? Like, did you have any, you know, uh, some negative feedback on why are you starting this? Are you gonna be okay with it and stuff? And... Um, no. I have a really supportive best friend. Um, we've great. been friends for thirteen years. I've actually been doing her eyelashes for a long time. Um, I just did them on her though, like strictly because she she allows me to do things, mm -hmm. those sort of things for her. It's her birthday today. Oh. <laughs> but, or, yeah, <laughs> sorry. Um, but yeah, um, she's very supportive of me, and she says, "Mary, like you need to do this." Even her sister one day, um, a few years ago, actually, she was like, "Why doesn't Mary do this?" Uh, like professionally, yeah, right? Yeah. Sometimes not... it's it's the people around you that are gonna push you. Mm -hmm. uh, they they see the talent in you mm -hmm. and then they push you. Mm -hmm. What advice can you give to young women out there? Um, you know, find your passion, stick to your passion, and you will find success. Because a lot of people say, um, if you like your job, you're never really working. Mm -hmm. And when I do lashes, I don't ever feel like I'm working. Yeah, mm -hmm. that you know? is, that's very important. Mm -hmm. That's actually very important because if, if you think, if you are doing a job, if you feel like it's a job, then it's not, mm -hmm. it's not something that, you know, it's not uh, you want to do. Um, uh, you have to work mm -hmm. um, and, you know, for your kind of wealth or whatever to build. Mm -hmm. uh, and you feel like you're, you're just, you know, it's passion. Yeah, for sure, yeah. for sure. Yeah. So yeah, just find your passion because there are a lot of things in this world that like people will pressure us into doing. Like mm -hmm. go to school and do something you, you might not be passionate about or something that you're not 100% passionate yeah. about yeah. and you're just kind of stuck um, wondering like what, what would I, would I have done if I didn't do what I wanted to do yeah, a few years ago. Yeah. yeah, so that's that's exactly why I started, because I was like, I'm, I, I like it yeah. anyway. And I like the fact that you've started business, and uh, before you even get to um, do any degree, mm -hmm. uh, so I think, and the path that you've chosen to actually go and do business, it's good because you're gonna manage your business mm -hmm. properly, you're gonna see how things are going to go with your business in regards to finances and, mm -hmm. and the organization mm -hmm. of your business. What next for you? Um, what's next for me is definitely just getting through school, um, finding more um, access to capital through my business. Yes. Um, I, exploring myself. I honestly, um, even last year, I, it, was, it was a long, long debate. I just graduated. And I was wondering, like, what what I wanted to do with my life. Um, what was I gonna do? I had to explore all my options, and I, I finally started my business, mm -hmm. which I had been on my mind for almost two years. Yeah. Um, but now it's just expanding um, my business um, and developing it to the furthest that I can. Um, and for business, uh, I mean, I have a lot of different events planned. I want to do a photo shoot soon, a yeah. professional one. I want to do. Um, I want to just increase my client experience, like yes. um, fulfill it to the best I can. And um, expanding the menu is something yeah. that I'm really working on. I'm, I'm trying yeah. my best to do that now, um, as well as just more products. That's something we're working on, selling them online and through the store, of course. And also um, 
professional studio space at some point. That's um, very good. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm very proud of you. Uh, this is Mary Paul. Uh, you've heard her, a 19-year-old girl that is doing it in the city in Edmonton, um, CEO, actually. <laughs> so I'm really proud of you, and thank you so much for coming. But before we go, can you tell our viewers where they can find you? Um, you can find me at Mayor Charm on Instagram, and that's spelled M A R E C H A R M on Instagram. Mm -hmm. You can go on my website, mayorcharm.com, um, and that's spelled with an E just at the end. Um, and you can also find me on Facebook as well, Mayor Charm on Facebook, um, and on TikTok, Mayor Charm on TikTok. That's very good. Thank mm -hmm. you so much. Uh, this is uh, Tapestry with Miriam once again on Fusing Who Am I uh, channel. And thank you for all our viewers that tuned in today. Thank you. <laughs> thank you, Mary. Powerful. Thank coming. you so much, Miriam. Yeah. This is amazing. <laughs>